Hello YouTube, in light of the recent Alex Mauer incident, I would like to remind everyone that you can email copyright at youtube.com if your channel has been removed by three strikes in order to get those strikes removed. The best way to go about this is to make sure that you just reply to the email that YouTube sends out once you get a copyright strike. Be sure that the notifications for copyright strikes, email notifications for that, are turned on at all times in case something like that happens. And all you'll have to do is reply to the, the takedown notification, remove the no reply email address, and replace it with copyright at youtube.com so that YouTube has all the information they need in order to counter the claim. Or nowhere for you to counter the claim, I should say, because YouTube doesn't actually do that themselves. And once this happens, the client will have to file a lawsuit in order to keep the video down. This pretty much never happens. There are exceptions, but it usually involves other YouTubers. And obviously, even though this person is so far detached from reality, I don't think she's going to waste her time and money in filing a lawsuit against a single YouTuber. This is also why it usually never happens that a lawsuit actually happens with a counterclaim. So don't worry about that because it pretty much never happens. Like, there was the, the H3 incident, um, but that's, that's been resolving. The incident with, with, uh, the, uh, what was it again? The guys who sued Jim Sterling, uh, yeah, those guys sued for defamation, not copyright, so there's that as well. Um, yeah, that wasn't a copyright lawsuit, that was a defamation lawsuit, so you, don't have, you usually don't have to worry about that kind of thing when you contest the DMCA claim. So don't worry about that, just don't worry, especially if it's a major work organization, especially if it's a foreign major organization, because the... When you file a counterclaim, you consent to a court in San Francisco, which clearly means that they'd have to sue you in San Francisco because YouTube's video servers are physically located in San Francisco, which puts them, of course, in the North California jurisdiction. So, yeah, just don't worry about that. So yeah, I think that's all you really need to know if your YouTube channel gets removed by three strikes, three copyright strikes. So, um, I think there's another email you can use if you get your channel taken down by, um, community guideline strikes, but I'm not sure what it is off the top of my head. You'll have to look it up, I'm sorry. So, until next time, stay determined. And, you know, don't give in to the pressure of these people. Just don't do that.